supermercado, the Spanish word for supermarket. And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Argentina. Today, well, I mean, typically in Argentina, when you're a foreigner, you're here and you're going to visit another country, you go downtown, you check out La Boca, you check out all these different places. But for me, I just like the typical places here in Argentina. And what can you find in a typical supermarket here in Argentina? Is it different than what you can find in, in Chile? Is it different from what you can find in Ecuador, in the United States? We're going to find out right now from a place called Coto, which I feel like should be an Ecuadorian place because we have Cotopaxi National Park. But it's Coto here in Argentina, typical supermarket. What can you find? Let's go find out. And welcome inside the Coto supermarket. Here, it's like a Walmart to me because they have everything. They have clothes here. You can even buy an air compressor to do stuff outside. And of course, you can find wine. The first thing that I notice is just how cheap the wine is because in Ecuador, it's really expensive. And in Chile, it was really, really cheap. So here you go. This is like three for two, about $2 for a bottle of wine that I think in, in Ecuador would cost around 10 US dollars. And I thought that there was just one rack for all the wine, but no, there's a whole nother room and like five more racks outside of here. There is so much wine in Argentina and the deals are incredible. Looking at how much it costs in Europe for one of the top rated wines, which is uh, right over here, uh, Luigi Bosca. It's about $12 here and 23 pounds in Europe. So. Um, I think there are pretty cheap wines here. It's a pretty incredible. But uh, what else can I find? So let's talk about something that is really popular here in Argentina, which is the meat. And recently the meat prices went up 40% here in Argentina, but there are a ton of people buying meat right here. And it's even hanging right behind where the butcher is. It's just hanging up there. You can just pick whatever meat you want for um, a typical like burger, a patty. And there are four patties in this really nice pack of patties right here. It would be around four US dollars and they get way cheaper. So here's a pack of 20 and that is about 17 US dollars. I think that uh, that meat comparatively to other countries isn't super expensive for the price of the dollar, but it is really expensive for if you are getting paid in Argentinian pesos. All right, the meat, there's so much of it. So in the United States, we have rows and rows of pickles. And when I go back to the United States, I can't believe how many pickles there are to eat. Here in Chile and also in Argentina, there's so much dulce de leche. This is all dulce de leche, which is not caramel, but it's the closest thing I can think of to a caramel. And it's super, super good. Comes in one of these. You can have it for breakfast and some toast. You can just drink it out of here. I know when I would get it in, in Chile, there would be friends of mine with kids and they would just take a spoon and just eat it. Also, you can get it in a delicious um, alfajores, which I absolutely love. Right here, super, super good. You don't have to get them from a freezer section. They're for sale anywhere. Alfajores are super, super good. So here in Argentina, there are so many immigrants from Italy that came here many, many years ago but they brought a lot of their Italian food with them, like pizza and noodles and things that you would typically find in, in places like Italy, you find here in Argentina as well. So here we have all noodles, just so many, so many noodles. It's amazing and so many different kinds of noodles. If you meet people here in Argentina, you'll notice that their last name sounds Italian because 
it is Italian. They have some roots from Italy. And even the way that people look here, they look more tall and white and Italian, which is pretty cool. It's a part of Argentina that uh, maybe you didn't know about. The noodles. And a pack of noodles here is like a uh, $1.50 for a pack of these. Uh, it's about a dollar for a pack of these, so pretty cheap. Noodles anywhere is, is pretty cheap. And how can you come to Argentina without talking about the mate? Mate here is everywhere, and I'm a huge fan of it. Here they drink it with a little bit of sugar, or a lot of bit of sugar. Maybe they have to worry about the diabetes, I don't know. But a bag of mate here is around two US dollars, and I mean, I couldn't figure out a better way to spend two US dollars than buying a little playerito. This one's a very, very good brand. Or uh, the Amanda one is also very, very popular here for mate. Or I think I'm gonna go with, uh, I've had this one. This one's very uh, suave. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with uh, Canarias. This one looks uh, very, very good online, very popular. And uh, it's from Brazil, which come to Argentina to buy Brazilian mate, but it is good. They also have it in little tea bags and things like that right over here. So much good stuff. And uh, I think I'm ready to go. And if you want to have a good mate, you have to have some good water to boil. I don't think you actually use this water to boil, but one thing that I notice is a difference between Argentina and the United States is the amount of water that's in an aisle. So this is the amount of water. There is so much water here. And in Ecuador, you can't actually drink the water out of the faucet. So you have to have water. But I think it's a big difference from the United States to any country probably in Latin America that there's just so much water and so many bottles, which uh, don't use so many bottles, buy the big ones and fill up something else that's reusable. And there you go, there's the supermarket. Got a few different things. You can't buy wine apparently until 10 a.m. So, well, I just gave up on the wine. No big deal. And I got my mate, which is the most important thing. Mate. I love the mate here in Argentina. And uh, it's pretty hard to find in Ecuador. You can find it, but it's more expensive there. So that was my big reason for coming here anyways. And I hope that you enjoyed just going through the supermarket. Typically, in Latin America in general, a supermarket isn't quite the same as what you would find in the United States. In the United States, everybody goes to a supermarket to buy everything. But here, there are so many different corner stores and places with fresh foods and fruits and things like that, that you don't need to go all the way to a supermarket. Plus, typically, a lot of people don't have a car because you don't need one. There's public transportation. And so you don't want to carry a million bags when you're going to a supermarket on a public transportation. You want to go to a corner store and just grab what you need for the day. The bread is super fresh and probably made in their house that's connected to their small little market. And that's the best way to go about getting food here in Latin America. Maybe not necessarily a supermarket, but the corner stores. I love the corner stores and especially the bread at the corner stores. So, I hope that you enjoyed checking out what kind of foods and different things they have here, some similarities and differences between the United States, Ecuador, Chile, and Argentina. But check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and uh, we'll see you guys next time for another adventure. Who knows where we'll be? Maybe a supermarket in, I don't know, Australia. <laughs> Tune in to find out where we're going to be and what kind of foods we're going to eat there. But for now, ciao Pascal.